name on your paper. First thing. Let's read those directions. Fill in the missing numbers to match the picture. Write the matching number bond. Okay, so right now, this is 10 and two more, so that's 12. So we have that 12 plus the 20, and then that equals what? Well, if we look at the number bond, it looks like it already gives us the answer. 20 and 12 make 32, which would make sense because 10, 20, 30, and two more make 32. Number two, it says we have 15, so that looks like this one right here, because I see 10 beads on the necklace plus five more, that makes 15, plus how many more? It's like 10. And so these are our two parts, right? So we'll put 15 and 10 here for the number bond, and then what would that be? Well, we have 10, 20, and five more, so that makes 25. So we have to equal 25 and we have to have our number bond be the 25 as the whole. <clears throat> okay, number three, I see 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'll make that one of my parts in my number bond too. And then we have 10, 20 more. That will also be my other part for my number bond. And now how many is that all together? Well, we had the eight ones, and we've got the three tens now. So three tens, eight ones, that makes 38. Don't forget to put that in the hole for your number bond. Go ahead and do number four on your own. Make sure you did your number you do your number bond over here. So at the top that's gonna to be how many all together? So 10, 20, 39. Okay, and then make sure you have it made up of two parts and that you have it into your number sentence also. Alright. Draw using quick tens and ones. Complete the number bond and write the sum in the place value chart and the number sentence. So draw using quick tens and ones. So 19 will be a 10. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 ones. Ten will just be another ten. Mm -hmm. So for our number bond, we have 19 as one part, 10 as another part. What does that make all together? So we have 10, 20, and then our 9. 29, so that's, we had two 10s and nine ones. So our total is 29, and we equal 29 up here too. <clears throat> Go ahead and do number six. Use your quick tens and ones for 20 and 14. Put the number bond. 
figure out how many tens and ones you have all together and write your answer. Okay, if you're not done yet, you'll have to pause it and flip it over to the other side. Use arrow notation to solve. So number seven, we have 13, and they have an arrow here with a plus 10 above it, and it wants to know what number we would have after that. So if we had 13 and we added 10, what's the next number we what number would we get well remember if we're looking at the tens digit if we added one more 10 to this 10 that would give us two tens and the three ones would stay the same so 13 if you added 10 more, it would become 23. Okay, number eight is doing something a little different. It wants to know what we add here to get to here. So we're at 19. What do we add to get to 39? How many more do you need to get from 19 to 39? If you were to draw this out, 19 would be a 10 and 9 ones. Now we want to get to 3 tens and 9 ones. Well, we already have the 9 ones. We already have one ten, but we need three tens. So we're gonna, there's one already here. Here's two, here's three. So now this would be 10, 20, 30, nine. How many, what did we add? We added two tens, which means we added how many? We added 20. Now for number nine, we don't know what number goes here, but we know that if we added 10 to it, we would get to 26. Okay, so if we were to put this in a number bond, we want to get to 26 using a number we don't know and 10. So we could say 10 and how many more get us to 26. I want you to figure that out and write it here. And then you need to do the same thing here, but this time they added 20. So the number we need to get to is 38. That's made up of 20. And what other number? That other number goes here and here, just like number nine. If you need to draw simple tens and ones, then you can go ahead and do that to help you.
Okay, I'm moving on to number 11. If you're not done, you can pause. Here we go. Use the dimes and pennies to complete the place value charts and the number sentences. Okay. So these two are dimes. Dimes are worth 10. So this is, we have one, two tens. And we have one, two, three pennies, which are worth one. So that goes in our ones. And then over here we have one dime, that's 10. So we have one 10. And we don't have any pennies, so zero pennies, zero ones. How many would, how much is that all together? So we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. Because we have three tens and three ones all together. Do this last one on your own. This one here is the dime, and these are dimes here also. So make sure you put these into this place value chart, and then this goes into this place value chart, and then you need to tell me what it is all together. When you're done, put it in the done tub. If you don't have enough time, put it in the to be finished tray.